Now, former United Nations Conference on Trade and Development, that is UNCTAD Secretary General Muhisa Kitui, has jetted back into the country and headed straight into his presidential campaigns. Kitui, who once served in President Mwai Kibaki's government as a minister, now says he is ready to serve his country as president, having served in one of the world's most revered bodies. But even as he comes back home, Kitui says he will first seek support from his lawyer back backyard then go into the rest of the country our senior political affairs reporter kennedy Muredi is with me in studio just to give us a context of exactly what this means for the 2022 general elections very good afternoon to you Muredi. glad to have you here so you know his candidature has elicited quite a reaction across the country but then again you have the luya unity talks that has been ongoing for an for the past Eternity. couple of years, and it comes every election cycle. Really, what does this mean for the presidency and the, his candidature uh, as he enters into the, you know, the election cycle 2022? Well, uh, Zainab, as you have rightly said, is that uh, one of the things that we do know here as a country and also in the African setup is that one of the things that you as a person needs to do is that charity begins at home. And straight on when we were there at 9 o'clock when he jetted into the country, he jetted in at about 8 o'clock in the morning, and we were able to sit there at the airport for quite some time. And at around 9 o'clock, he came out to address us. And as he was addressing us, he, w he left nothing to chance. He was like, yes, this is my country, and I have to come and transform everything that needs to be transformed. Remember, he is bringing in what he says is experience, not just from outside the country, but also from here within the country, because he has served in the government before. And right now he says that even as he, uh, to, 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 to answer your question about the lawyer unity, he says that he has to come and go back home where he comes from, that is the western part of the country, so that he is able to consolidate that vote. Then after that he will come into the rest of the country and start that conversation. One of the questions that has been asked so much, Zainab, is why did he leave such a lucrative job? And he says that he believes that he has been able to serve outside there to the best of his ability. And it is time that he brought in that knowledge that he has already learned from outside the country back into Kenya so that he is able to transform the country. Remember, there are some of those statements or projects that he has also been able to bring back to Kenya so that he is not asked, because I have seen that question being asked so many times in politics, is that we gave you an opportunity to go outside there, the country. What have you been able to bring back? Remember also there is that huge conference that was held in the country about two years ago, and this is one of those achievements that he is most likely going to say right now. From the airport and into Jericho, where he is currently in a service, he was able to come with a huge convoy, and it has been organized by some of those people that now say that they will be supporting him. And right now he is in a church service before he goes at 2.30 o'clock this afternoon, where he's going to have a formal press conference, and he's going to be declaring his interest in the presidency. But he has left nothing to chance. Then again, he says that the country has been facing numerous challenges that he says he is the only person that can be able to solve some of those problems that the country has been facing. Another thing, Zainab, before I go back to you, remember in the western part of the country, he's coming at a time when Musalia Mudavadi, that is the party leader for Amani National Congress, and also the party leader for Ford Kenya, that is Moses Wetangula, have come together. Remember, these are two communities that I've never seen eye to eye before. That is the Maragoli and also the Bukusu. So when they come together and say that they are going to form a formidable force moving forward, then there's a probability that the entrance of Muhisa Kitui might be consequential or might not be any consequential in this particular sense. Setup. Because if you do ask some of them, they're saying that they do believe that he is a project of one of the bigwigs in the country. But those are some of the questions that we'll be asking Muhisa Kitui in the press conference this afternoon, whether he is in his own man as he goes into this uh, 2022 duel, or he is being fronted by a number of people who want him to take over. Remember 2022 right now is, uh, is, is, is a setup where nobody actually knows how it's going to be. Muhisa, Kitui, Muhisa Kitui's pronouncement that he is going to be in position for that is actually another person whose 
been able to say that they want to be president is William Samoy Ruto, who is the deputy president. So it comes out at a time when the country is also looking to see who else wants to be the president. But right now, we were able to speak to him, and this is what he was able to tell us earlier on when uh, he announced that he was going to be here. Uh, baada hii safari ya siku ya leo, mimi nitajitarisha kuenda nyumbani. Siya sangu lazima itanzia kule nyumbani Western Kenya. Naenda kuuliza watu, ni kueleza vile minafikiria, wakiniweka mkono na kuniombea, ni reje na erobi ndiyo niseme, kule nimetoka, wamenipigia hatuwa hii. Wanipiga jeki, nimefika kiwango hiki. Wamenikubali sasa, nijiuzishe na utafutaji wa hii ya jira. Sasa, huu, Huu ni muongo wa kwanza wa safari itajukua miyaze kumina nane. Huu mda wote nataraju kwa matakua naongea na nini na kueleza wa Kenya wote. Kinaga ubaga kwa mba siyaza yangu siya kutuka nana. Heshima yetu ni kukumbuka the three key elements of the Kitui candidature. Well, Zainab, it's, a going, it's going to be a gruesome 18 months as he is just one of those who has already declared that they want to be president. Uh, Musalia Mudavadi has also said that he is seeking this position. Kalonzo Musioka has already said that he is seeking this position. Deputy President William Ruto has also said that he seeks this position. We are waiting to hear whether Raila Odinga is going to announce because every time he is asked about that question, he says that he will decide after the BBI. Well, 18 months into politics, a day in politics is very long. We can only wait to know what next. But right now, it's back to you, Zainab. All right, thank you, Muraithi, for that very comprehensive uh, context into exactly what is happening. And indeed, a very interesting next 18 months to the 2022 general elections with the entrance of Mohisa Kitui into the presidential race. We'll be tracking exactly what will be happening in the political scene from here henceforth.